In this video, we are going to present the result of our needs assessment and usability evaluation of Clubcar's online configurator in order to help our client better understand their user needs and potential usability issues. Clubcar is a golf cart manufacturer which provides an online configurator tool to help users customize their own golf carts. By selecting several features they want on their golf cart, filling out personal information, and choosing dealers, users are able to save their configurations. At our initial stakeholder meeting, we learned Clubcar built the current configurator in order to engage more with its customers. They were concerned, however, wondering if the current interface design met the needs of their audience. In order to evaluate this, we first needed to understand the needs and requirements of golf cart users and purchasers, as well as how the configurator already successfully helps users accomplish their goals. In understanding this, we would be able to properly evaluate if and where design changes should be made in order to improve user experience and the tool's overall effectiveness for the company. And to achieve this goal, our team approached the problem from two main perspectives, the users and products. In order to understand user needs, our team interviewed five people ranging from 39 to 79 years old and synthesized those findings into three personas. Based on the three personas, we designed a survey to grasp users' motivation, interests, and concerns when using vehicle configurator. The survey resulted in 65 effective responses and informed the tasks we chose for the usability testing. From the product perspective, our team created an interaction map and conducted heuristic evaluations for the club car configurator. We also conducted a comparative analysis with 10 competitors' configuration tools to understand the competitive landscape. To understand the usability issues, we conducted usability tests with five participants ranging from 27 to 66 years old. Their interactions with the club car configurator were recorded and analyzed. Golf carts are inherently a luxury good and are owned as a non-primary vehicle. Therefore, they are often owned by older and more affluent users. As described by our client, most users are over 45, many are retired, and they purchase club car vehicles for recreational use. To illustrate our findings, we will use the persona of Edith Silverstein. We incorporated traits and pain points from our real-life interviewees to create Edith, an 81-year-old retiree who lives in Boca Raton, Florida. Her technology proficiency is limited, as is her eyesight and knowledge of technical jargon. Edith has decided she wants to look at purchasing options for a new golf cart and goes to the club car websites to see what is available. She is concerned with the price, safety, number of seats, and other convenience features on the vehicle. Our first key finding centers on the visible features and cues in the club car configurator. Visibility issues remained a theme throughout the project, and we have identified a few key areas of improvement. The first problem area is pop-ups. Our usability test identified the existing pop-ups as challenging to read due to their size, location, limited duration, and lack of color contrast. One user noted, in the yellow pop-up box, I can't see what's in there, and you have to complete this one to move on. This would certainly be an issue for our poor Edith, who at 81 is significantly older than our test taker. We recommend relocating pop-ups to the user's foci, improving legibility, and increasing their size. This change would reduce the temporal and physical demands on our user Edith, making the site easier and friendlier to use, and helping to guide her towards her goals. Next, in our heuristics evaluation, we found that small changes in rendering from adding accessories were challenging for users to identify, which led to confusion over whether or not their inputs were successful. Also, most users were not aware of the zoom capability or the fact that certain features would not render. For a user like Edith who lacks understanding of technical terms, ensuring that visual changes are clear and evident will help guide decision making and accessory additions. To help make rendering more visible, we suggest turning the vehicle to the front or rear view dependent on the feature and highlighting configurated parts by utilizing the existing zoom in feature to focus on rendering changes. Another area of improvement that was uncovered during our research was the issue of text size and legibility. During our usability test, our oldest user noted that 
If you want old guys like me to use this thing, you have to make the font bigger. The font for the accessories in particular was described as tiny and hard to read. Also, the gold color of some text does not provide enough contrast. These issues generally become more challenging with age, which could provide accessibility issues for Edith. This minor speed bump has an easy fix. First, we suggest being more selective about the text that should appear in the main configurator screen and increasing its size. Increasing the contrast between text and background will improve legibility and avoid accessibility issues, especially for older users or users with vision restrictions. Continuing with visibility features, our usability tests and heuristic evaluation uncovered problems with the existing additional feature information button. The button is small, does not utilize a hover color changing feature, and users, especially older ones, were unable to find the additional information they were seeking. Users noted that they found value in the visual cues for each option, however the existing pictures were small and users were unable to locate the larger picture since they could not find the information button. We suggest adding color and color changing button functionality to the additional information buttons and increasing their size. Additionally, we suggest enlarging the miniature pictures that accompany each feature, as the visual cue will bypass the need to find the additional information button for visual-centric users. Another strategy uncovered in our comparative analysis was to have a pop-up at the beginning of configurator use that informed users of the I button's appearance and function. Our survey of 65 individuals uncovered that the most important information during the configuration process was price. However, in our heuristic evaluation, the current layout places price on the periphery and does not include any color or cues to direct the user's attention to it. We suggest relocating price to beneath the rendered vehicle and incorporating a color, likely green. This will utilize the space more efficiently on the page and allow other text and images from the features we just described to be larger and easier for a user like Edith to read and comprehend. Currently, all the features are laid out as a long scrolling list. During usability testing, only one user discovered the top navigation menu on top of the features list. Four other users all went back and forth through the whole list to look for features. Based on the interviews, for potential customers like Edith, allowing them to configure section by section will make their experience much smoother. To improve user experience, our team suggests adopting a collapsible menu or a progress bar. This will allow users to easily navigate between categories and freely choose features they like. The current method for saving a configuration is complicated. After having designed their golf cart, a user must fill out their personal information, select their nearest dealer, and finally receive a code to be able to edit their configuration at a later point. During our usability testing, we found that four out of five users were unable to find where to input the code they received when saving their golf cart. This is a big issue as they grew frustrated with trying to retrieve their save. Additionally, our survey results showed that users are unwilling to share all of the information that the configurator is asking for when saving. Only about 3% of our respondents were willing to share their home address, while over 30% were happy to share their email addresses. A user like Edith would likely be willing to divulge only her name, email address, and zip code in order to save or be connected with dealers. To make saving the configuration easier, one solution is to use the system currently in place, where the user receives a code for their saved configuration, but require less personal information. The input box for the code should also be moved somewhere that would be easier to find, like the top navigation bar or in the configurator itself. Alternately, we would highly recommend putting a new method of saving in place. Our survey results showed that 30% of users would prefer to receive a URL for their save rather than any other method. We would also suggest that finding the nearest dealer should not be required to save the configuration. As always, there are ways in which our research could be improved upon. We had limited sample sizes, with our survey having 65 respondents and performing our usability test with 5 participants. Being able to take in the input from a larger portion of the target population, people like Edith, would help guide future recommendations for the configurator. We were also unable to get a hold of golf cart dealerships 
would be able to provide us with information from a more industry-based perspective.